Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Divine Masculine Daily Message for Saturday. So today I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Dark Truth Step. This is a very powerful deck. It really gets into their mind and their soul and their heart and you know it expresses what's going on. So if you are a masculine tuning in this will really resonate with how you're feeling today and how to process what you're feeling and what you need to know and for the feminines cross-watching it will really help you to understand. So thank you for being here. Send you so much love. So what's the energy today, please, angels, for Saturday for the masculine? Here we go. So the card is, yeah, look at this. I'm understanding now. It just means so much, you know, not only to me as a reader, but as a divine feminine to understand that this is what they are going through because they understand you know, all the cards are showing this, all the readings are pointing to this, that they are learning who they are. They're understanding, understanding so much. So I'm facing my truths. So he's saying to you today, I'm facing my truths and I'm going within to become a better person. So he wants to become a better person. He knows he has so much more to do in this lifetime, in this physical world. He knows he has things to do. And he says, I know I have a purpose here. And I want to be able to work on that. So everything he's going through right now is activating his soul. So he may not know what this purpose is, but he certainly feels a pull towards it. And that begins with change. So Divine Masculine, if you're watching this and you're thinking, well, I want to be a better person. I'm going within to face my truths. And I know I have a purpose, but I'm not quite sure what it is. But I do know I want to change things in my life. I know I'm not meant to be with that karmic partner or I'm not meant to be doing that job or living that life. This is your soul calling to you. So the divine masculine soul is calling to them to make changes, to become a better person, to work on their mission and their purpose in this world. And that's why they've come. So he's saying to you, I'm going through a big kind of ascension process right now and a higher level of awakening and understanding because he's already awake he's already aware he already knows because he feels it he feels that pull to you he feels that connection with you and he's trying now to make sense of everything to make it right because he wants to be a better person so he's facing his truths his truth is he needs to change he needs to do things differently things in his life no longer serve his soul and that's the truth and that's hard to face sometimes because it causes pain and the ego doesn't like change, it likes to remain in a comfort zone and the soul loves it, the soul loves change, it craves change because that's why we come, we come here to change, to grow, to evolve, to learn, you know we don't want an easy life, we may think we want one but we don't really want one because what's the point of that, we don't learn anything. So the masculine knows he has to face his truths and go through certain life lessons and experiences to become a better person, to become a better man or a better woman, to be worthy of your love and to be worthy of you. He wants to evolve and change. He's got things to do. He has a plan. And he's thinking about that plan. He's understanding what it means. And this may be a certain goal. You know, like my divine masculine, he wants to learn to drive this year. And that says plan to become a better person within his own self. That's what he wants to do. This could be the masculine saying, I want to change my job. I know it's time. I want to do this or that. And you know what is special and unique for your twin. So that's what they're doing this year. Working towards purpose, mission, union, everything moving towards you. And that's why so many of you are saying to me, when you're looking at the picture behind me, you really powerfully see the stack, but you don't really notice the deer unless you look closer. And that's because the divine feminine, the divine masculine merge into one. You know, it's a merging into one. You have to look very close, you know, because you're already one. So the feminine always walks by the masculine side and the masculine always walks by the feminine side. But this picture is really showing you, and that's what they're guiding me today with this, the masculine is understanding, he's moving forward, he's kind of taking control of this picture, because he's showing you his power, whereas in the picture of last year, 
he was in the confusion energy and the mist and the fog. You couldn't really see him clearly. It was like he was emerging out of that. So this is the you where he's coming out of the darkness. You know, he's coming out of the cave. He's doing things. He's making changes to move towards the divine feminine. And the divine feminine, the divine masculine are one. Whether that's happening right now in the physical reality or it isn't. He's understanding what it is, what he wants. And the closer he gets to his realisations, the closer he gets to you because that future he's dreaming of and everything he wants and everything that will satisfy him also includes you. And that's why 2023 and 24 are going to be all about like union, commitment, coming together. So you're going to feel that. So this is a year where he's finding himself. And he's working towards his mission and purpose. So he's saying to you, I'm facing my truths and I'm going with it. So remember, if he's quiet, silent, distant, it doesn't mean anything's wrong. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. See it from a different perception, a different level of awareness. Because, you know, if he's quiet, he's working it out. He's understanding, he's processing. So he's doing that for you to be with you, to make himself a better person for you. So don't rush him or force him to come out of his cave before he's ready because it's helping him to become a better person. And he knows he has a purpose. He's searching for that. He's seeking answers. He's finding his way because he wants to work on that too. So he knows he has a mission. And he's also making these decisions, you know, deciding what to do, how he can change things. And that means facing his truth. And to do that, he goes inside. You know, as feminines, we handle it differently because we talk to other people. You know, we have that support. So we can talk about it on the channel. We can have, you know, people around us we can talk to that gets things off our chest. But the masculines don't really have that. It's very rare anyway. You know, unless they are operating in feminine energy, you know, they bottle it all up or hold it all inside and they process themselves. That's why they go silent. That's why they go distant. You know, the feminines like communicating and sorting things out and clearing the air because you're used to communicating, you know, talking about things, getting things out into the open. Whereas the masculines bottle it all up and hide. So the way they handle things is a lot different than how you handle things. And that's also part of this journey, learning to understand, learning to have compassion and empathy and to respect the way they do things because they respect the way you do things. So you're both understanding each other more than ever. Because an adventure awaits. You know, I've been guided to this top today. An adventure awaits for both of you. So it's part of your purpose to be together in union. But it's also your purpose to remember and to face truths and grow. And this really resonates with the remembrance energy in today's daily reading. So, you know, remember it gathering information, going within to access that. And that's what your masculine is doing. So he's saying to you, if you feel or think that I'm not doing the work, I am because I'm understanding. I'm facing my truths. I'm realizing things. I'm coming to terms with who I am and what I need to change to make our lives better. And that all begins with me becoming a better person. So we both work on each other. You know, we both work on ourselves, which also allows us to work on each other because ultimately it brings us together. So let him do him. You do you. Focus on opening your heart today and, you know, doing things you love to do because your masculine is working it out. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.